Well, I finally got some sleep. Got about four hours sleep, which is good. But now I have a headache. <clears throat> because reasons. Um, had some wild fucking dreams too. I dream a lot. Always dreamt a lot. But sometimes you have these really deep dreams where everything seems so real. I don't know. My favorite Lovecraft story is, um, I was never really sure how to pronounce it, but like Celeface. S E L E F A P H A. And then it's like an I with two dots, which I think represents an emphasis. So it's like Celeface. Um, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I did a wee bit of work. I'm sort of at the final stages of, um, in fact, I'll show you the video, the fucking visuals. Not that I'm like actually have anybody to show, but you know, show myself. See, uh, I've been doing like these. Weird mushroom ladies with titties. But it's got some sweet detail on it, you know. Uh, last bit I need to do is stitch it on the hand so they don't look like fucking oven mitts. Cool spiral on the top. But I'm putting it off. I'm delaying it, as I always do, procrastinating, because... Um, it's quite detailed work. Doing little teeny digits with only a knife and a couple of tools. So I vacuumed at 2 a.m. What time is it? 3 a.m.? It's not 3 a.m. It's 2 a.m. Oh, the, the clock's not back at night. I'll be thinking about patterns. Um... The older I get, the more patterns I see. I've always looked for patterns in life, you know. And the more I realize that everything is just kind of cyclical. Um, I was thinking about this in the context of relationships. You know, uh, the it's almost like, because I'm so visually orientated, I, I think about it as a, metaphor is would that be a metaphor i don't know but um i think about it visually i think about uh the run top things it's i mean a dreidel is the, the jewish thing but i'm just thinking like the toy you know where you have an axle and it's a circle and you and it comes to a point and you and it just spins. It's what I feel like people are. I feel like everybody is just a round top like that. You know. And whether you believe in a god or not, I don't know. But just for the, the image sake, just imagine like a an entity just picking up a soul and spinning it. You know. And then eventually it topples over. But the spinning... And the cyclical nature of everything, even in like the fucking universe, you know, orbits the sun, which orbits another thing, which orbits another thing, pi, and, and so on, and circles, and it's almost like a, there's a poetry to it, like it's something so obvious that it's just there. But we don't pay attention to them. But I was thinking about this in the context of relationships because <clears throat> if you think about the way people are in their social lives, right? I suppose it starts when you're in high school. You know, you have all these relationships and they're so important to you. Girlfriends and friends and best friends and whatever. You know, they're, they're so... You're so invested in the moment. And then things happen. Things fall apart. You know, there's a death. 
not a literal death, but a death of, of something, of, of relationships, of status, of station. Um, and in nature, in the universe, death is not the end. Death is, in many ways, a beginning. It's just a stage, right? You know, from ruin comes growth. A uh, comet smashes into your planet. Your planet gets blown up into a million pieces and then, I don't know, floats out, floats into the sun, gets reduced on to lesser elements and so on and so forth, and then, I don't know, just explosions and things decaying and things coming together in the compound properties again, you know, so death is, think about that in the terms of relationships, you know, the death of a relationship or relationships, friendships, and then you, you grow again and you I don't know, you go into the workforce and you start to make new friends and new relationships and you grow again and it becomes cyclical, you know, because then those things die as well. And you just, you just keep rotating, oscillating over and over and over and over again. And I was thinking that maybe that's my problem. I think that my oscillation is kind of off kilter. There's something fucked about mine, like the wobble, the wobble. I have a wobble. I have a soul wobble. Um, because when I get to the death part, I don't replace, you know, to me, there's something fucked about that perverse about the replacement aspect um, because it, it means that a person doesn't matter the place they had in your life becomes insignificant by definition because you can replace them you know and there's other factors as well like time I mean, time is always a factor, right? But, you know, if you replace them very quickly, then um, they really don't mean anything, right? But that's, that's a slippery slope because how do you define how much is enough time, right? Unquantifiable. So I, I think that there's something wrong, there's a malfunction in my head with the cyclical part, because I've never, I've tried to replace in the past, you know, I've gone to actually great efforts to make a new, to grow again, to have a new environment and so on, but I've never really managed to achieve it in a lasting, meaningful way. Things just kind of die and then stay dead in my world, in my land, uh, to the point you, you know, we, we get to this point now where I am, where I, this, everything is just destitute, you know, it's just ruins. And that's when I was, uh, that's why when I was, uh, when I drew and painted, I would always just do ruins, lonely landscapes, you know emptiness, beautiful, surreal, fearful, intimidating, 
dark. But mostly just empty. Like there used to be something there. And now it's all gone. My dreams are that way too. Um, I always dream about apocalypse. But apocalypse implies change and death itself, right? Again. Um, but I've, uh, I've also had post-apocalyptic dreams, which is more significant, where, or more on point, where it's just like a, I'm thinking of one in particular, where it's just like a, a ruin of, of my city, the capital of, of my country, you know, and I'm just walking through the streets, and there's nobody, there's nothing left. It's just shells of buildings and, and burnt out cars and ash suffocating you. Uh, and they're, they're always so rich. Uh, vivid, vivid dreams, you know, visually. To the point that I don't forget them. Like I, that dream I had was many years ago, like maybe almost a decade. So I think that's, I think that's a, a, a worthy assessment of my condition, my human condition, in that I, uh, I, I just have a, I don't have that cyclical component. At some point, I took a crowbar, jammed it in to the circle, and broke it a long time ago. Don't remember when, don't remember why. But uh, the evolved part of my brain uh, evolved. You know, the, the, the part that is an animal made a decision long ago that I was going to shoehorn in uh, these ideals. These, these higher notions that I seem to hold in great reverence for some reason. Um, and I, I haven't been able to pull, pull, the, pull the crowbar out. Because it, it's just so... It's horrible to me when I think about it. And then I, I can't get rid of that. There's something so cheap about it, you know. Uh, maybe it's because I don't respect life to begin with. Or, or sort of this modern idea of life. You know. Because that's essentially what the trade is. The trade is... Get rid of all these lofty ideals. Nobody means anything. Relationships are bullshit. Love doesn't exist. The only thing that matters is you. And that's one side of the equation. Um, you know, and and if you don't feel like life means anything, which I don't, then it's not really a good trade, is it? <laughs> you know, you're giving up. A higher form of being for something that you don't respect to begin with you know it's just it's a dumb trade you just you wouldn't make that trade why would you why did you give that up and I can't I mean I know why I would give that up uh, <laughs> in order to be happy right but um uh, I just, I can't seem to square it off in my head. Uh, it's a difficult discussion to have with myself. Um, and th there is a middle ground, not everything has to be polarized, right? And the middle ground is what I saw before. And the middle ground is what I've temporarily achieved, but it doesn't seem to last for some reason. It can't seem to make it last. For, for whatever reason. I 
And I was thinking about this girl who meant a lot to me and still does. Not the one recently. She's a twat. Fucking cut her head off, but um, the, the one before. You know, now I, I, I don't know how people can just be that way. Just replace, you know. Because if, if, sometimes I email there, you see, I'm like, I miss you. <laughs> and, and stuff like that, because I do. Um, and I, I like to speak my mind about things like that. I don't think it's very useful to be to have it straight, um, because life is short and life is pointless. So you might as well make a a milestone of it, you know. Or write a bit of spiritual poetry in a way, right? Um, so I <laughs> do stuff like that. But if I didn't do that, I don't do this often, but. If I didn't do that, she would never contact me ever, you know, because you're replaceable, you know, and you're forced to conclude one of two things, either, and this is the one that I believe, is that you are novelty, because it's been very representative of other relationship. In fact, 99% of relationships, friends and otherwise that I've had, you are novelty. Once you're gone, like, who gives a shit when the novelty is gone? You're gone to them. You know. Um, or, you know, there's some sort of higher thought going on there where it's restraint or something. Or maybe there's a third option, she just doesn't give a shit. Which is also probably more likely than um, what I mentioned before. It just doesn't give a fuck. I just don't don't mean the same thing. Um, which is fine. I mean, it's not fine. It makes me feel like shit, but what can you do? Like, I can't change it. Uh, it's just sad, that's all. Sad. And these are the things that keep me up. I wish I didn't have to think about these things, but I do. And if I didn't think about these things, it would be something else anyway. So you, you just, that's what you do. And again, circle, cyclical. This is what you do in life. You, you trade one demon for another demon. And then you get rid of that one. And you get a new one. And it's just on and on. On and on. Just endless. Endless uh, spiraling, you know, until you wobble and fall over. And then maybe you have peace. I don't know. I hope so. I would hate to think that it goes on like this forever or it gets worse. Because it's pretty fucking bad as it is. You know? Great. <laughs>